So one night a week, Jules and I throw axes in the Backyard Axe Throwing League. So we need something that's easy to cook, delicious, easy to eat, and will give us the fuel we need to win. These are Axe Night Suppers. Tonight on Axe Suppers, I'm making this dish that sounds vaguely Italian, but really isn't. So for this dish, you're going to need chicken thighs, oil, Italian sausage, onion, bell pepper, mushrooms, baby potatoes, sage, garlic, hot pickled peppers, dry white wine, and chicken stock. So first off, you could use any part of the chicken that you like. You could use chicken breasts, you could use leg quarters, whatever you want. I really like chicken thighs. I think they bring a lot of flavor. They're easy to cook, they're easy to eat, and they're often the cheapest piece of chicken at the grocery store. So start off with a little bit of salt and pepper on both sides. Heat up your frying pan with a little bit of oil. Um, I'm using bacon fat just because I have bacon fat in my fridge all the time. Uh, I really like the flavor. If you don't want to use it, you could use uh, extra virgin olive oil or a vegetable oil like canola. Now you want to brown the pieces of chicken on both sides. Um, I'm always a little bit impatient and I often turn them too soon. The more you leave them, the more brown you get, the more flavor you get. Take the chicken out of the pan, put it on a plate or in a bowl, and set it aside. And now you want to fry the sausage. You could fry the sausages whole and then cut them up. I like to cut them up first and then fry them, and that gives them an even browning on all sides. Once the sausage is browned on all sides, you don't need to cook it all the way through. Just brown on all sides, take it out, and put it with the chicken. Now put the onion, mushrooms, and peppers into the frying pan and stir them around. You just want to start browning them a little bit. Pour in a little bit of wine just to uh, add some flavor and get things going. Once the vegetables have softened, it's time to add in the garlic and sage and give that a really good stir. Add the pickled peppers, pickled juice, and the potatoes. And then you add the rest of the wine and you want to reduce that wine by half while you're scraping the bottom of the pan. Because at this point you've built up some really good flavor there. Once the liquid is reduced by half, put the sausage back in, add in the chicken stock and give it a really good stir. Now it's time to put the chicken thighs back in and you put those in skin side up and you sort of nestle them into the peppers and onions. Now you take that pan and you stick it in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour. During that time, the sauce will come together, the chicken will crisp up again, and it will be perfect for dinner. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.